Dear God, we know you in many ways. We call you by many names. We see your working in the people around us and in the expressions of their lives. And we give you thanks for the vision of artists, for creators, for all those who contribute to our life for good. We thank you that we can share here a bit of the vision. And we ask that we may take in what we see and feed on it in our hearts and our souls. Amen. I'm Valetta. I'm the founder and director of the Regional Center for Women in the Arts. We were formed in 2000, got our 501c3 in 2002, and we do art exhibitions that highlight women artists. And we raise money for charities that benefit women in need. This project was started about six years ago to promote peace. The idea that we would do quilts is not an original idea, but I think having it as just a woman's project is kind of original, and quilting is something that women do. Showing the three quilts for the first time at the Church of the Loving Shepherd in Westchester. It's a beautiful space, high ceilings. It's an old barn, so this is a perfect place to show it. The first one is the fabric of peace. The second one, it's the interfaith connection, bringing together artists that are of different faiths and they expressed it in their swatches that they did. The third one was done at the Greater Exodus Baptist Church in Philadelphia, and that one was called Peace in the Community. including not just quilters, but artists. So they can paint, they can applique, they can do embroidery, whatever. Then they send it to us and we assemble it. RCWA recruited artists from all over the world by knowing a core group of artists. Each one of them would give me names of artists that they knew, people maybe that had lived in Wilmington that moved to Australia, and the Australian artist knew a group there. Each person that you know has connections. That's how it happens. <laughs> I've shown in Italy, and one of the artists is Italian, so we had people over there that sent things in. Crystal Beatty's daughter is married to a Turkish fellow, so she had connections there. I'm Crystal Beatty, and I participated in all three quilts. It was extremely interesting to talk to all the women of the different faith groups. An old silk piece that from my grandmother, and it has a rose on it, which I like to think of it depicts love in an embroidered in beading. If we communicate with each other, we can really further the cause of peace. My name is Catherine Ewens. Why do we have to hate one another? I mean, I often think of the line from South Pacific, you have to be taught to hate, and it's so true. I'm Veronica Gledhill. Peace is all around us. The world has been given to us in peace. This was about community, and when I watched people take care of my mother, it was just so beautiful to me. And so this is probably much more entailed than the other pieces, but it's, of course, very meaningful to me. So thanks. I'm Carla Lombardi. Eyes on peace, and I have a woman with two pupils connoting the fact that she's looking for peace all throughout the world. Now the second one is Peace in the Community has selected two birds dropping on the community the peace sign. And that's done in applique. Blue background with doves flying throughout the, the air. That's my piece. <laughs> I'm Jennifer Breen. A place that I just loved and I painted it. It's in Nova Scotia and I took the picture and, and every time I looked at it it gave me peace and when I thought why does it give me peace? It's 
God's creation, the water, the sky, but it was also the people who created the flowers and the walk and, and loved that. They brought nature with their own man-made constructions. This is a piece quilt, and we all got little 12-inch squares of fabric. I was thinking of water, how we can spread our ideas in circles of water. So that's how my circles came to be. I painted my grandson's feet, and he was two months old. So that's John's footprints. I tried to get his hands, but his hands kept squishing up like babies do. But what's more peaceful than a baby? Yeah. Hi, my name is Linda Burnett. I came up with the idea from a copy of the Beatles Illustrated Lyrics, and it's just my interpretation of the theme. Tom Mullion was active with the Brandywine Peace Community for years. He was based in media when I met him, and now he's a singer-songwriter from Bucks County. Hey, I'm Joyce Berger, and I'm not a quilt maker. My friend gave me some puff paint, which I never worked with before. I just had a blast doing that. The ball is all of us on this earth. I just put a little sense of humor on it, because I think to be on the earth, you have to have humor and especially about this subject. And if anyone knows my painting here, I get simpler and simpler in my shapes. Art connects me to, to the universe and to God, so it's that important. There's even more room here with panels, so we added a small art exhibition to go with the quilts. My name is Lauren Lua Holden. I get a lot of serenity and joy from nature. I love birds and I feel like there's an underlying spirituality in my work. Being raised Catholic and the white dove rising over Jesus' head. The flying man, Valletta picked that out of my studio mm -hmm. and I didn't think of it but it really is a very peaceful image. I fly in my dreams and there's the world you can touch, the world that you can't touch but it's there. People who pass on, they're not physically here, but I feel them around me. So I think that's kind of what that painting is about. I'm Libby Soffer uh, from Wallingford, Pennsylvania. I was thinking about how when you drop a pebble in the water, and each of us is a pebble to the world, and if we can distribute our kindness and it spreads, that's the most we can hope for. And this one is about how we stand on history, how we stand together. There were these two little girls and they were cousins and they were just full of joy. And I thought about how these two little girls are the kernel of hope. All around there are the words, sister, daughter, mother, aunt, grandmother. These are the people that influences, that are giving us the juice that we need to have peace in the future.